today's subject is very much interesting subject and uh, it's related with cns system that is central nervous system so today i would like to show you some good cases i don't want to spend much time in the speaking more so we'll do the practical work now we'll have a workshop small workshop here so the first case i would like to show is a person who is uh, just from business family sindhi community and he is just 24 years old person patients this is an interesting case of a young man age 24 years who was diagnosed to have chondroid chondroma diagnosis in 2002 chondroid chondroma is a sort of tumor it's a brain tumor operated for the same yet had recurrence of the symptoms and again advice for surgery so the first he tried the regular process that is surgery the surgery has been done on him and it was unsuccessful surgery why i would like to give you the explanation about this case his complaint started in 2002 when he had been to salon and during head massage started with headache and vibrating sensation in the head gradually he started with double vision for left eye protruding right eye and bending of head upward to the left side in between he developed severe attack of headache for complaints of double vision he consulted ophthalmologist who advised her him for mri scan of brain followed by histopathological report thereafter he was diagnosed have to chondroit chondroma later he consulted neurologist of jahangir hospital who advised him surgery and also explained him about the prognosis regarding the recurrence and ill effect developing after it considering this his family members decided to wait for some time but in due course of time his complaints worsened and he started to develop slurred speech and imbalance while walking so finally in october 2003 after many experts opinion craniotomy was done with only superficial excision of tumor prior given further details the astonishing things about the tumor explained in case summary jahangir hospital was that the tu- the tumor looked soft to f- too firm and jelly like at a superficial area deeper part become more classified this area was decompressed the portion of the tumor posterior to aca was very hard only some superficial portion could be taken out deeper part was so stony hard that no instrument could break this tumor it's a very hard and tough tumor they tried to cut it with the instruments but they are unable to cut out the procedure was abandoned at this stage surgery was no bone to him but it rather was on his complaints not only he had recurrence of symptoms but also developed left sided hemiparesis his condition was likely handicap for which he was always require support of someone for this his consultant advised him surgery again now his relative were not not at all ready and so they came to me for consultation on 23rd march 2004 now i would like to explain about the chondroid chondroma just came what is chondroid chondroma because the pathology is more important once you understand the pathology you will get joy which case you are getting to be cured so it would be a bilateral joy if you could know the pathology very well and this is irreversible disease it cannot be cured by the radiation by the surgery and by various allopathic methods just if you would like to make notes of this chondroma just try to read chondroid chondroma 
Odomos are related to be rare neoplasm arising from embryonic notochordal remnants and comprise less than 1% of neoplasm neoplasms. They typically occur along the neuraxis, especially at the developmentally more active cranial and caudal limbs, notably in the spino-occipital, sacro-coxygen and vertebral locations. 25% to 40% of caudomas occur in the spino-occipital or skull-based region. These tumors occur predominantly in the 30 to 50 year old age range and show a slight predominance in men. These tumors can occur extra axially in unusual locations and are then termed primary. They probably arise from ectopic notochordal elements. Symptoms, the clinical presentation depends on the origin and extension of each particular tumor. Delay in diagnosis is common, secondary to the occult nature of the disease and poorly localizing signs and symptoms. A headache arising in the vertex, ipsi parietal, orbital or frontal regions is a typically early symptom. This is due to stretching of middle fossa dura and is often severe. Patients may also present with Paresthesias or anesthesia of the jaw region, serous otitis media, hearing loss, nasal obstruction, syncope, and rarely vertigo. Recurrent meningitis has also been noted in these patients. The late symptoms generally depend on the direction of tumor extension. Anterior extension leads to diplopia, <coughs> diplopia and ophthalmopnegia or both. Posterior extension presents as facial or other lower cranial nerve neuropathies. <coughs> Prognosis and treatment reported average survival of cordomas of the skull base is 4.1 years. There appears to be a better prognosis for cordomas of the nasopharynx and paranasal sinuses. Notably, chondroid cordomas have reported 15.8 years average survival. The best treatment for these patients is total surgical excision. Recurrence is a room and metastasis are extremely uncommon. Patients usually succumb to local diseases. Radiation therapy has been used in the post-operative care of these patients because of the tumor's usual relentless post to local recurrence and death with recurrent and death with current conventional treatments. So this is the information about the chondriochondroma. So it's very tough, hard and a very dangerous tumor you can say. It doesn't respond to any surgery, chemotherapy or radiations or any treatment. So the investigations, histopathological record, irregular lobuculated and changing abnormal soft tissue intensity lesion is noted involving the supracellar at left paracellar region and intending into the cella. Sizes are given. <coughs> lesion compressing and displacing pituitary gland inferiorly in the pituitary fossa. Osteochondroma with development of early well different, differentiated chondriosarcoma. Classified tumor in the supracellar, left paracellar and retrocellar region measuring 3.6 by 31.1 cm in the size. It is causing compression of the brain stem which apparently hypodensis. His complaints in details were as follows. Weakness, numbness of left hand and left leg. Are you hearing my voice? Okay, okay. I was thinking that there are some speakers there. Okay, <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> so, weakness, numbness of left hand and left leg since 3 4 months. This, this, all these complaints are post surgical complaints because the patient came to me very late after surgery. Element form post operative complaints. Lower limb weakness.